President Biden's Iran nuclear negotiations could be a bigger blunder than Afghanistan. This is bad news for our security. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. This week, talks were resumed in Vienna about restoring the seriously flawed 2015 nuclear arms deal with Iran. That agreement had Iran promising to slow down its program to develop nuclear weapons in return for removal of economic sanctions and unfreezing Iranian assets totaling tens of billions of dollars. Iran even received pallets of cash at night totaling some $1.5 billion. The radical regime there immediately stepped up its already extensive terrorist activities and moved aggressively to dominate countries in the oil-rich Middle East. Iran never disclosed all of its nuclear facilities, nor were international inspectors allowed to make unannounced visits to any site they wished. The 2015 deal also did nothing to halt Iran's program to develop ballistic missiles that could deliver nuclear warheads. No wonder the Trump administration pulled out of this appalling agreement and imposed even tougher sanctions. Those sanctions hit hard. As Joe Biden took office, Iran had just about run out of foreign currency reserves, crimping vital imports. The economy was crumbling, and angry Iranians were taking to the streets and periling the reign of the country's murderous mullahs. Unfortunately, the new president and his diplomatic team decided to try to resurrect the flawed 2015 deal. The White House pursued an aggressive policy of appeasement. Certain sanctions were eased as a gesture of goodwill, and others were no longer enforced. For instance, Iran was allowed to boost oil exports to China. Iran increased its aggressive moves against other countries. The Biden administration's responses to Iranian attacks against American troops and assets in the region met with little or no response. The White House has distanced itself from anti-Iran allies in the region, both the Israelis and various Arabs. Iran's hardline rulers have concluded that the Biden administration wants a deal no matter what. They will push for maximum concessions from us for nothing substantive and enforceable in return. All this is why President Biden should stop his demented policy of appeasement and work closely with our regional friends in thwarting Iran's imperial ambitions, and why his administration should seriously examine what must be done to frustrate Iran's nuclear ambitions. That country's fanatical rulers have never wavered from their announced goal of incinerating Israel. And it would be the height of suicidal foolishness to let them get the means to send nuclear warheads to the United States. Dealing with the challenges of Russia and China are ominous enough. I'm Steve Forbes, thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.